So I hope you guys enjoy this because it took me a really long time to just do. Um, so this is the War Paint tutorial for Andy's makeup. Um, obviously, you can use the same product. It's the same kind of process uh, for any of the other guys' makeup. But I have been cosplaying Andy for 10 or 11 years now. So that's the one I'm doing. Let me know if you guys want more tutorials and other stuff. I do drag, so I have uh, drag makeup tutorials. I don't know. I'm really bad at these and I am filming in my bathroom because this has the best lighting. So, oh well. And I don't know if it's going to be a problem, but like the camera might try to focus on the face over here. So if it does that, I'm sorry. But enjoy the tutorial. Do you guys know the reason that I didn't film this for like 10 years is because I hate the sound of my voice on camera? Now you know. Okay, so we're going to start with a clean face, as you can see. And if you're going to a concert, uh, especially if it's hot or outdoors or anything, you want to use a good primer because that's what's going to keep the makeup on. Um, so I use Too Faced Hangover RX. Um, but you can use whatever primer you want. And also you just get a little bit of that and then all over your face. And uh, if you notice me looking over here, it's because my mirror is right here. I didn't want to like look in my phone when I was doing it. And then you don't have to wear foundation. Um, foundation helps keep the war paint on better, especially if you're going to a concert. Um, but I recommend a long wear matte foundation, um, whatever brand you like. This is the Becca Ultimate Coverage. 24 hour. Um, there's also uh, Kat Von D, which I use for drag, which is pretty heavy though. Um, you can also use Maybelline's Fit Me, which is um, a good like drugstore option, but that will come off easier. So you just put this on your face like foundation. Okay, so once you got your base on, it looks like a ghost. Uh, you're gonna wanna set it with like a setting powder, especially if you're going to concerts. So this is, I think it's like C, I don't know. I got it like in a makeup description box. Uh, but just set it with powder, especially around your nose, your mouth, and your forehead. So contouring is optional, uh, but if you do want to contour, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills stick. This is in shade Mink. Um, I do a cosplay more so than just like just the war paint. So for me, like contouring is you know part of it. I'm not the best at like contouring like a normal person because I'm a drag queen. So my contour is a little bit weird. So I suggest you watch a different video for that. Um, but then I set it with powder. So this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light uh, contour palette. So I'm going in with like the lightest shade here. Now that we look nice and thick, okay, um, the next thing you want to do um, is Andy has really defined like pointy eyebrow. 
eyebrows. So this is just the e.l.f. eyebrow pomade. So this is what I like cut my eyebrows with. I'm just gonna go in with like a flat, like pointed brush. And just apply them. You didn't really want to try to get the like art that he's got. So now you've kind of got your like, I guess your base down or whatever. But like I said, contour is optional, um, foundation is optional, all that. So for the main part, this is the warping. So what I suggest is that you find a photo of whatever style you want to do. Um, so whatever member, whatever era, whatever and um, like pull it up either on your phone or whatever. I happen to have this magazine. So this is the style that I always do. So I'll just have this out like as a reference, just as far as like knowing like where to put stuff or whatever. Um, so no matter who you're doing, you can use the same like products and all. This is just, you know, Andy's tutorial. So this is what you use for war paint right here. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Black Cream Eyeliner. Um, it comes in a little pot. You can get this at Sephora. It's uh, 18 or $19. It's under $20. Um, but yeah, you can get that from there, their website, or from Ulta. This stuff is the best. It wears the longest. This will not come off at a concert. I wear this to Warp Tour. Um, through the heat, it doesn't come off. This is great stuff. If that's a little bit too expensive or you don't have one of those stores near you, uh, you can get this. This is the e.l.f. cream eyeliner. So it comes in a pot like this. This is like three or four dollars. You get this at Walmart or Target, wherever e.l.f. products are sold, Ulta sells it. Super affordable, it's super cheap. Um, the only thing with this is it's a little bit more oily. So it's a little bit harder to work with and you have to set this really well but this does dry down matte and it doesn't come off. I've also worn this to Warp Tour and to concerts, um, but I will be using the Anastasia. This stuff like is like a dream. Um, and this, like one of these will last me like two years. And I mean, I wear this in drag. This is what I use for my eyeliner in drag uh, and all that and every day. And so you're just gonna get a pointed brush and like, so what I do is I get like the shape of whatever it is that I want first before I go and fill it in. So I'm gonna make the spikes. So here we go. And if you mess up, like just get some type of makeup remover on a Q-tip and just, you know, undo that part. All right, so. Start with the spikes up top and you want to use like light pressure when you're coming down for the point to get that like and then for the in between the, the bigger spikes I just like do strokes And then they get kind of low, like as they go in towards your eye.
And then you're just gonna like fill in the other part. So that's why. And then you do that one. Okay, so I kind of fixed up the other eye a bit. Uh, like I said, I went out too far, so just get Something like this. This is my cellar. I think that's how you say it. Water and like a pad, just wipe it away. Redo it. Okay, so now that you have the eyes done, um, and like I said, like it depends on whoever you're doing uh, for the shapes and all, but then you want to set it. This is really important because it is like it will dry matte, but it is cream. So just get any black eyeshadow. This is just Anastasia. Um, the black. And you really want to like take care to set over the lid and then like right here. So you just get it black and just like pat it on. And this is going to like keep it from creasing in your eye and also wearing off. And this is what like, makes it like legit waterproof. Like I could get in the shower and it wouldn't come off. And it's also going to intensify the black. And you can also like kind of like blend it out a bit to the shapes and it just like gives it a lot like smoother, cleaner like transition. And make sure you get your under eye. And like I said, you can just like pull it out a little. Don't like get too much in. So just real lightly. So you can, but see kind of, it like blends around the edges. Okay, now that your eyes are done, you need the rest of it. So the way I do the war paint that Andy did, the set the word on fire era, he had like the two like little triangle like things that came in. Um, so you can do that. So do the rest of the face paint depending on who you're doing. And also like, don't be afraid to like make your own. Like I definitely make mine bigger than he did. Um, just cause like, I don't know, I like it better. And also you can do like the stripe across your face. I've done that one. Um, the only thing that one is if you wear glasses, it's gonna mess it up. Also, you can't touch your face. So like your nose itches. That one's not as like concert friendly as some of the other ones are. Also, like when you do your foundation, make sure you get your ears and that you also get your neck so you don't have like a foundation line. And when you contour, like contour here too, if you do. See if I can even this in the mirror. Also like practice makes perfect on this.
I haven't done this makeup in a long time. But I have been doing it for since 2009, so like 11 years. So I have been cosplaying as Andy since legit 2009. I think I've gone to every show they've done or like Warped Tour or anything as him since like 2011, I think that's when I started going to shows like it. And then like I kind of like drag the light strokes down. Almost like a contour on top of the contour. If you know what I mean. I just think it looks cool. Okay, so that's that. And then now for the most famous part is the stitches. So I think he had it on his right side, yeah. Cause he had his left lip pierced, I think. It doesn't really matter. But for this, like I use the same stuff and I like start here and then go out. I don't bring it all the way back because you'll see why, but just kind of like a jagged, just like real messy type. Okay, and then you have like the strips that come up. I do this part with the eyeliner. I'm probably gonna use a cheaper one for this. Cause I use, for the body paint, I use acrylic paint. Uh, that's not good for you, get non-toxic. But it's cheap. It's like 50 cents from Walmart. And uh, it does peel off the during shows. So if you're like riding in somebody's car, like put a cow down. And these are just like light strokes up going from like under your chin. I also kind of use this to contour like my face because I have a really round draw. He doesn't, so. So that's pretty much it for like the eyeliner portion. Um, you can take like a regular eyeliner pencil. This is from London and you can kind of go in on your waterline. I also recommend like if you're wearing this to a show like if you take like a little purse or whatever you take um like you can bring this and just like a little brush this is like a dome shaped eyeliner brush um for touch-ups or you can just bring this um and then your lipstick so for the lipstick um the bright red lips i searched for years trying to find like the best match to what I used to wear. This is my favorite. This is Fenty's Uncensored uh, Red. It's a true red. It's not like an orange red. Also, um, if you're looking for a cheaper option because this is $25. Uh, NYX has one. It's Kitten Heels. It's really good. I used to use that one, um, but that one's like seven. But any like liquid lip uh, matte finish will work. Just make sure like it is long wear, it is matte, like so it's not going to smear or whatever, and then bring it with you. So you're just going to go in and do your lips. And then you're just going to go in and like touch it up, make it look nice. I'm going to do that real quick. 
Okay, so that pretty much completes like the makeup aspect of it. So to do the body paint, I literally, like I said, just get acrylic paint. Now, I'm not advocating you do this. Um, oil paint though will bleed everywhere and stain your skin and make a really big mess. This stuff will literally peel off and when you get in the shower, it's gonna stain your shower, but like it comes off and it doesn't stain too bad. So I just get like an old foundation brush that I don't use anymore. And I'll, I'm not gonna do the whole body paint cause I'm not doing anything after this, but homework. Um, but you pretty much just get it and then like, I just kind of do strokes like this on my neck. And then I do them down my like arms and stomach and all of that. And I just pretty much do like these like almost like winged like strokes kind of just everywhere but I'm not going past the neck today and I bring it up like kind of on my ear and behind it and this just serves like a little bit more contour Slash really just like completes that look. Make sure to connect like the makeup part of it with the paint. And see now we have nice angular jaw. Okay, so there you have it. That's the look. Because I do cosplay, I do have contacts and I am gonna pop those in so that you can see what it looks like with them. I think they make it pop. If you are blessed and have natural blue eyes, then I already have that, but I don't. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put my hair down and we'll see the final look. Also, I forgot to add, but if you wanna keep your eyes like really white when you're wearing contacts or just in general, Get this stuff. This is Lumify. It's pretty expensive, but they sell it at Walmart. You can also get it on Amazon. Um, but you put a drop of this in each eye, and in a few minutes, your eyes are going to be like bright white. When I put these contacts in, my eyes were completely bloodshot because my eyes hate both makeup and colored contacts. But this will keep them uh, white for eight hours. And then also, if you're going to a show, especially if it's hot, but honestly, if you're going to a show, uh, you need to set your face. Um, this is what I use. This is the Morphe setting spray, which you can use any setting spray as long as it's like, you know, decent. So don't like, I don't know, don't get something from the dollar store. But you can use that. The Urban Decay All Nighter is also another good one. And Hard Candy, which is a brand Walmart sells, actually makes a really good one. It's their um, matte spray, but it's sold in their makeup section. And literally drench your face in this. I'm serious. Like, drench it. I'm not going to put any on because I'm just at my house and I don't want to waste product, but seriously, that is how you get this to stay on through like a three, four, five hour concert. So pro tips. All right. And we're back. So I have these contacts in, these are from Pinky Paradise. These are like the silver loon or something. I'll link them below. But they're incredibly comfortable. They're probably the best color contacts I've ever had. Uh, you do have to have a prescription, but these are in zero, zero power. So once you have that, you can order from the website. Um, they come, it takes like a month. So you might want to order them like, you know, with enough time for them to get here. But I think they're absolutely gorgeous and they look very similar to his eye color. So if you're going for a cosplay, these are great. Also, they just look really cool with the black makeup. Um, but yeah, and then hair down, um, I have not dyed my hair black in a long time. I will be dyeing it for the shows. Um, pro tip though, if you are dyeing your hair, um, not just black, but like any dark color, don't do it the night for the show because it's going to run when you get sweaty and then you're going to have like streaks coming down your neck and staining your clothes and it's not, not good. So do it probably like at least a week before the show. Um, and then make sure you wash your hair like at least twice. So you don't have that happen. I see that happen or 
I just saw that happen a lot of work to her. But yeah, so I have curly hair. I just straighten it. Um, it's a fucking wreck because I did it like really quickly. Um, but there you go. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I can post a video going over the outfit cosplay part of it if you guys are interested in that. Otherwise, it took me 10 years to do it, but here's your tutorial. I just really love these contacts. I wish my real eyes looked like this, you know? And they have like, oh, it's hard to see, but like the, like the dot, like with the light shines in, they're actually blue and silver. 